In this video, we'll be looking at some special derivatives. First, the derivative of e to the e is equal to 0. And basically, we use the constant rule because we know that e is approximately 2.71828, and that's raised to 2.71828. So you have a constant raised to a constant. So the derivative of e to the e is equal to 0. Our second one, the derivative of e to the x, that's just our exponential rule. That derivative is equal to e to the x. And then the derivative of x to the e, uh, remember that e is a constant. So anytime you have x to some number power, um, you use the power rule. So we take our exponent multiply it by the base x raised to the exponent decreased by 1. So the, the derivative of x to the e is e x to the e minus 1. Now if we wish to find the derivative of x to the x, we need to do a little bit more work on that. We're going to use logarithmic differentiation. So we'll let y equal x to the x. And then we're going to ln both sides. So we have ln y is equal to ln x to the x. Then we're going to use the rule that says we can bring this exponent out in front of the logarithm. So we have ln y is equal to x times ln x. Now we can differentiate both sides. So the derivative of ln y is 1 over y dy. And then um, this is a product, so we need to use our product rule. Um, x times the derivative of ln x, which is 1 over x, plus this factor times the derivative of x. So ln x times the derivative of x, which is 1. And all of that is dx. And so I'm going to write this as dy dx on the left side. x times 1 over x is just 1. And then ln x times 1 is ln x. And then multiply both sides by y. So these cancel, and we have dy dx is equal to 1 plus ln x. And then in place of y, I need to write this expression that's in x, so times x to the x.